Hello, I'm Jason Klein, LNG Canada's Chief Executive Officer. I'm pleased to present our 2023 mid-year update. It's been another exceptional year of progress for our project. We're honoured to be building Canada's first LNG export facility in Kitimat, British Columbia, in the traditional territory of the Heisla Nation. With our project now almost 85% complete overall, we remain on track to ship our first cargoes of low-carbon, made-in-BC liquefied natural gas by mid-decade. LNG Canada is designed to be the world's best, lowest carbon producing LNG facility of its size. We'll export LNG with the lowest GHG emissions of any large-scale facility operating anywhere in the world today, about 60% lower than the average facility and 35% lower than the best performing facility. Setting the world's highest standards also means building our facility safely, and it means meeting our commitments to local communities. We chose to build our world-leading facility in Kitimat, where we're fortunate to be welcomed by First Nations for its many attributes, its location in a deep, ice-free harbor, its proximity to key export markets, and most of all, its people. Northwestern BC is home to hardworking, highly skilled individuals from many different professions and trades, and representing dozens of craft unions. Today, more than 6,500 individuals from BC and other provinces are employed at our site in Kitimat. Once in operations, we'll rely on the skills and expertise of hundreds of individuals to run our facility safely and smoothly. We're delivering meaningful, long-term employment opportunities and substantial economic benefits. In fact, the cumulative value of our projects, contracts, and subcontracts to local, indigenous, and other businesses in BC has now exceeded $4 billion. We've invested over $5 million in workforce development programs and more than $10 million in special programs and equipment benefiting BC communities. We also contribute millions of dollars in local property taxes each year. That's more money for public infrastructure and services. Those are some of the local and regional benefits we're delivering. There's the potential for even more. With our five joint venture participants, we continue to evaluate the timeline and scope for a second phase expansion. We see an opportunity to build on our early phase one successes and the benefits it's providing British Columbians and Canadians. Those include additional jobs in construction, more local contracts, and new infrastructure. LNG Canada has identified potential opportunities to further advance electrification at our export facility in Kitimat with a phase two expansion, aligned with the availability of sufficient reliable power. We strongly encourage BC Hydro and the provincial government to find the pathways needed to unlock the potential for additional electric power to a broad base of local stakeholders and initiatives, including LNG Canada's Phase 2. Our final investment decision must also take into account overall competitiveness, affordability, future GHG emissions, and of course, timelines. From the start, we determined to set the benchmark for responsible LNG development, not just here in Canada, but around the world. As events continue to demonstrate, a reliable source of responsibly produced energy should never be taken for granted. Our LNG will provide security of supply for global markets that can rely on Canada's natural gas reserves to advance their economies and reduce global GHG emissions. I'm excited to be part of the movement to provide local benefits, drive innovation, and deliver the cleanest possible liquefied natural gas as a preferred energy source. And I'm proud of what we're creating together. A strong LNG business right here in Canada. Trusted, competitive, and built for the long term. Thank you.